So all the tea nuts are now in. I'm now gonna start moving over pieces one by one and slowly but surely getting uh, to put this back on the start on the back and then work on the front. So the first things first, I'm gonna do the kick out here. So you remember I've loosened those two already. Um, when I got the two tea nuts out, clean and it can go straight over onto the new machine. Okay, so big moment now, first component going back on, it's going to be the um, auto plunge. So two of these go, simply go into, get up into the screws, there's four screws that secure this, two that are go straight into the T-nuts on the other side. Now again, I'm, I'm not using my automatic driver for this. There's, there is some play on this, in terms of the, the angle. At this stage, I'm just lining it up for the switch, which may, may or may not be right. Come back after the fact and fix that. Play fields. I, I don't know. There's a lot of people criticizing, but they come pre-drilled on the ones this one. And I don't know what everybody's on about. I'm a pretty big fan from what I've seen so far. So. These, this is all being cleaned, put it in the tumbler overnight. First component in. Happy. So I'm gonna take these slingshot uh, mechanisms out. So we take off these. bags for each of these.
top sling. That's that bag, bag 16 done. I'm gonna get this all into the tumbler. So fast forward 24 hours and all the slingshot parts are out of the tumbler and ready to go back on the play field. Okay. That goes in there. Beautiful. Let's get the spring. Okay, so that's bags 14, 15, and 16 added to 13. So the kick out slingshots, these are a little bit fiddly to get so that they move freely. Now I'm gonna do the uh, ball trough, do that next. So we've got the Milex on the ball trough, so it's just a matter of removing the unit. And There are these screws here, one, two, three, on. Last one, I'm just going to hold it to stop it from dropping. Pick up the screws. And here is our ball trough. And there's actually two two plugs on it. So I'm always good to just check these when you take them off that they've got the key in them. So I'm going to just tape these together and just call them bull trough. So now we can move this over, unplug this 
and the whole unit can just go straight in. I'll give it a bit of a clean, but it's not too bad actually. At some point I'm going to replace this coil as well. But... So all cleaned a little bit, I gave it a bit of a clean with some alcohol and a little bit of polish. Screws at the top, so just to make it easier to install I'm going to get a couple of those in from holding it in like this and just screwing it. Swivel the play field. Okay, that's in. I need to do these two. I'll get a couple. So the next thing I'm gonna look at, just get a couple of the isolated simple boards across first. Okay, so I'm gonna take this board off for starters and um, just look at these individual light boards and then there's the eddy board and the little eddy mechanism. Let's start with this. Okay. Let's take the board up. It's a bit tricky. So I'm going to leave this as is here. You can see on the back of the board there's just a little bit of dirt and gunk. I'm going to go and give that a bit of a clean with isopropyl alcohol quickly. So I'm just going to remove this light board, give it a clean, and then I'm going to have a look at the colors of the LEDs that it's going to and make sure that I get the right LEDs in now because I don't want to have to re-LED them after the fact. So I'm going to go and check those so I can get red down to white down here. But first, again, I'm going to give this a bit of a clean. There's lots of gunk on that and put it in. Take this board out as well at the same time. Okay. Those two, go and get that going. Clean them, check the LED lights appropriate. Okay, so the board's screwed back in, these two light boards, and I've just kept all the lights loose. I will then go and get, at the very end, just go and check I've got the appropriate lights in for the colour inserts. Okay, let's get the other light boards out. So I've got the other four boards out. Um, again, just take the light bulb, the, the LEDs out and put them in the bag um, and then I'm going to give these a clean and pop them back in and I'll have a look at what globes, what colours and LEDs I'm going to put in when I do the final assembly and I can test out the colours. So those go in the bag and let's get these clean and get them on the board. Okay, the next board just that I'm going to take over is this eddy board. It's connected to the sensor board um, over here. And one little plug with four nuts, but that's a pretty simple thing to remove board. There's a little trick with the actual sensor.
So to get the, um, the sensor out, if you just get a pair of little rubber stoppers which you can pull out basically. And these keep the eddy board in place. <laughs> that just slips out like that. And that's attached to the board. And over it goes. Okay, go and give this a clean. And I'll put these little rubber stoppers on the new play field. So, board's cleaned. Okay, that's board in. Now we'll just have to get the sensor in, and again it just slips out over those two little spikes. Let me get you a better view. So, there's two little slight spikes which pick up, pop, pop up. There we go, and it needs to. Basically stays flush to the little top of the insert as it can. That's done. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is get the solenoid which does the gate. So this this is the solenoid which controls this gate, which determines whether the ball gets in locked or not. So first we're gonna take this out. To do that we've got the little E springs here. I've never taken an E spring off when it hasn't gone flying. And then my guess is there's a little Allen key here. Let me go and get my Allen keys. If you're interested, it is a 332nd Allen key. 330 seconds of an inch. Once that's loose, that gate just that just comes out. Little washers and another E washer on it. Remove the four screws. And that slides up. Out comes the unit. It's pretty clean. I'll give it a little bit of a clean, but I don't have to do that much and put it straight back in on the other side. Okay, cleaned up a little bit, gave this a bit of a polish, but now I'm just gonna get this in, four screws. Now I've got this on, and so putting this in, you get the little washer above the, from underneath the play field. So you've got your earring, then the washer, then up it goes through. Earring goes on here. Once you put that on, then it won't drop down. And then you just need to tighten this. Let's give it a bit of a tighten now. So. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is actually move the flippers over, but I'm going to do a full flipper rebuild on these. New coils, various other things. I've cut some of the, the hacks that were done on the, the end of stroke switches here. I'm going to rewire those properly. But I'm just going to literally take these out and start that rebuild.
loosen the flip of that before I undid this. I probably should have loosened these bats. And on these new paws, this is a 3 8 traditional bone of the bats. That's out. That's out. And the whole thing just lifts up like that. It's pretty manky. So we'll do a full rebuild on that. So I'm going to do the rebuild on this. When you see it back, it's going to be all nice and clean. There's loads of flipper rebuilds available online. I've got one that I'll put up here. But uh, when you see these again, they'll be nice and schmick. So as part of the flipper rebuild, I've taken these plates off. And you can see they're really old and scuffed. And rather than spending the money to put a new one in, um, I gave them a bit of a clean with a, with a brush. But it's still not good. So I'm going to go, I've got a um, recently bought a uh, buffer, a bench buffer. I'm gonna go and buff these up now and I'll bring them back and see what happens. So here we go. All buffed up and polished. It's not perfect, but I mean, you know, it's got the vast majority, it's clean. You could, you could eat dinner off of that. So in that pops. And I've got the Molex plugs. And just to remember, in terms of the little strands that are on here, green is right, which when it tipped over is on the left hand side, and the blue is left. Second letter R, second letter L, right, left. I think that might be a flick, but that's how I remember it. And the color of the switch is the end of stroke switch strand, black plus blue, it, and it's black plus green is also consistent. Green with green, blue with blue. Something amazing when you actually get to the stage when the flippers are in. So that's as far as we're going to get in this video. Next video we're going to tackle the pop bumpers and the upper area of the playfield. Thanks very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, subscribe, leave a comment and a like. Thank you. Until next time.